Hey guys, welcome to the second outing for the um, Hobie Outback. So I want to do a bit of a video here of the whole setup from the time it's on the car to it's off the car and how long it kind of takes me. Even more so for myself, I just want to kind of see where I can improve in speed and that. Don't mind the car's a bit messy, I just chucked everything last night. But um, let's see how this goes. So let's put this on real quick. Going to the side. Got this Yakima showdown. Pretty good unit. I'll do a review on it one day. So just undo that, slide that out, and drop that down. Okay. Well, that's a bit wet, so I'll just give that a quick wipe down while it's up here. So for the handles. Yeah, rudder controls, you want them to be dry, because you're not touching them all day. Feet. I don't plan on getting it wet, hopefully. So let's keep it nice and dry, just a quick put a wipe down. I'll dry this out too because I do put I do put this thing up here. So we're gonna see how that goes. Alright, so let's see. these things come off. Just gotta support her up. found overhand grip like this, underhand grip up here, kind of works the best. And then you put it down on here, like so. You just have a look underneath. Yeah, that's good. Alright, just quickly strap this up. I've made this deliberately a bit longer so then I can strap it down to the back there which I'll show you guys in a sec. I suppose I can make it a little bit shorter. But in any case, that's that. Alright, get it out there like that. Alright, so this is what I've done with the battery for the fish finder. So I'm using this little thing here. And this is just going to go... I'll put Velcro on the bottom. Okay, so basically, this just sits in here. Like that. So if I put on that angle, it sits in just fine. I'll just use one of these plugs I'll just plug that in nice quick and easy I love that I'll go this here but I shouldn't need it alright and then we put the front in this will come in handy so this goes on the inside guys I had it before like this on the outside it doesn't really work so pop it in here Get a bit of a Is it? Nope. There we go. That's to protect the rudder. Alright. This way. That out the way. That out the way. Alright, now we're good. So I'll get the rudder drive out soon. Alright, so we have lunch, we have soft plastics, we have fishing net, look at these things, oh, I mean. you know what, I didn't really need these last time, so I'm just going to them there, so it's always better to get drainage, so this is where I keep my screwdriver and bits and pieces, utensils, I'll leave them in there for now, there's my lunch, Go on. Set this up now, may as well. Put that out. Put this on this side. Put that in. Okay. This 
goes here. Lock that in. I did this last time. Uh, Do it. Oh yeah, it's like this. That in there and tie that onto there. Let me know if there's an easy way for these guys. That's all I know for now. Still learning all this. Scissors, they come in handy, so plonk them there. These guys go here. Okay, that's your hair. Soft plastics go in here. That's your home. And woo! Old well, Java's walker, bait knife. Alright, knives are all done. This is pretty cool. It doesn't come with this, this is an optional extra. Rope. Oh. I need this hockey strap. Alright, so I pack the straps away. Just pop these back here for now. Excuse the mess, like I said, guys, but um, made for function. Alright, Esky. So that ice that I got earlier, chuck in there. Beauty. Let's hope we fill it with fish, yeah? <laughs> Let's hope we fill it with fish. And this is what I record on. This is my little setup. Just got one of these. There's a GoPro that's in a um, fuel refuel battery pack. Works wonders. Gives you about nine hours of footage. So I'm just going to plunk that in there. Lock that in. I'll drop it down for now while I'm getting in on the water. And that way, it's out of the way. Okay, fantastic. Now what I do for the esky so it doesn't slide around for now. I've got tie down points but I haven't put them down yet. That's another job. I use this thing. A little non-slip mat. Put it down. Take this off. Take this off. And all I do for now temporarily is I'll put that here on the non-slip mat. And then I just run this through this little handle. That goes on there. This goes on here. It's not ideal, but it'll do for now. All right, and that's secured. Good, it's for my net. All right, so that's done. My water bottle, check. These I don't need. I can stay there. Paddles. In the middle one for now now which way am i getting in from i'll be getting in from that side so let's put it over here for now stay good okay rod holder Okey now i've made up a quick go bag Got all my essentials. I thought that's got a chair on. And the mirage drive. There's the mirage drive. Again, excuse the mess. I just threw everything in last night. Here's my hat that I'll use. Okay. Let's put that there for now. Now, this thing just simply slots onto here. So, push down a bit, bring it back, lift it up, make sure it's not lifting, and always remember to clip this thing in. Now, I found to put this on the lowest setting was the best thing for me. So, I'm just going to pull this thing, sit that down there. A little bit of zip this thing up. Yeah, got little bobs and bibs in here. There we go, my new gloves, keep them on handy, just in case. Alright. So I use this for the keys, keep them nice and dry. Right, that 
should be a tight section. Alright, Mirage Drive. Always leash, leash this in, guys. This is, I hate to think of the cost of this new one. I think it's over $1,000 to be honest. Alright, so that's in. I found just to kind of sit like that. Kind of locks itself in. Doesn't really go anywhere. Alright, go bag. You need to go bag, guys. It just makes life so much easier. So everything's got a spot. This goes in there. Put it onto there. Laser flag for safety. Always need safety out there. In the water. No need for the light now, so I've left that off. And this just kicks in. Alright, beautiful. Ahoy, matey! Right. Bilge pump, you never know. Hopefully, I'll never ever have to use this, but I'd rather have it than not. Let's do this something nice, quick and easy. There we go. And life jacket, don't forget that. These are great because they're very comfortable. You hardly can feel that they're even on you. As opposed to those big bulky things, you've got to get a comfortable PFD guys, because if it's not comfy, you're not going to wear it. That in and uh, whoop. what's going on here? Okay, so let's pull that there. I need that. I'll bring this fresh towel, rod holders. Oh, radio, yes, radio. And fish finder. Yes, that's it. Wipe. These are easy, it's just power into power, transducer into transducer, and you are good to go. Just again, just slots onto here. Why are you stuck? It's telling me no, sir. I don't want to pay today. Oops. Okay, that wasn't meant to happen. It just clicks into here. And then down. Maybe these cables are too tight. Let's pull that out a bit. Okay, that's better. Cable was too tight. Alright, so that's, that's now in. Great. The towel can go in there. Great. Alright, go bag is done. Get the rod holders in. thing we need to do is the rods. <laughs> hey! Imagine I went out without the rods. That would have been cute, wouldn't it? Very cutie, yes. Very nice. Alright, so with this I'm just going to do a quick fishy thing in my bob here. Might rip that off because I find it hits the the line at times. I'll just twist it to the side there for now. Okay, one rod check. And then we've got rod two check. So same deal. I always leash everything down, guys. You don't want to lose these expensive bits of equipment. It's 
worth taking the extra five minutes to do this or two minutes whatever it is just in case just in case okay right two check seats in esky strapped that's leashed that's in you know what, I'm just going to keep it simple, just two rods today. Hat. And so, I believe that is ready to go. Yes, it is. Mirage drive, seat, fish finder, rods, bait tackle, radio, utensils, GoPro, bilge pump, flag, that, that. Beautiful. We're good to go, guys. That's it. Full setup from the car. Going onto the water. Oh, the water's a bit cold today. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. I just snapped my um, little stand for my trolley. Come up with some other solution later on. So basically what I do here is pop this little press. It's a bit spewing actually, should have folded it up. So I can drop the Mirage Drive in now. So officially the second outing in the outback. Getting much more confident with it each time I take it out. This is my first time out alone, so it's gonna be quite interesting. It's always good to go out with a friend first. You, know, you never know what could happen the first time you're out. Especially on a on a more complicated kind of kayak than your just standard paddle kayak, you know, because you've got to think about the mirage drive, putting it in, you have to think about the rudder as well. Alright, so what I've done is I've just got a <clears throat> trolling lure at the back. So you never know what could happen, eh? If we're moving, we may as well have something in the water. So I ended up getting a new hat yesterday because I found my other brim hats. They were um, too floppy. And it was just blocking my view. They just flopped down your face. They flopped down from this side, that side. It's got a bit annoying, to be honest. This one's alright. It's much more stiffer, kind of reinforced uh, rim. So far, so good. You need to be comfortable on the water. You know, so it's a must. Just cover the ears. This thing's pretty cool, eh? I ended up getting the SLX DC, that one's a Curata DC. Give it a shot. Ah, what do you know? It's just my lure. It's a familiar scenario. Use S Factor. And so you just put a little bit on the tail. Just a smidgen. And kind of just rub it in. Stinky. You're a little stinky one, aren't you? But hopefully it's going to attract the fish. Another good thing to have in your tackle box, guys, wet ones. 
Oh, massive school of baitfish underneath me. Big school, big school, big school. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Which way are they going? I don't know. You just gotta be in it to win it, right? You gotta be in it to win it, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely fish around here. Let's go. Okay, come on, fishy, 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 fishy. Show me the fishies. Let's go, fishy. Let's go. Woo, woo. Let's go, kingy. Let's go. Come on, just give me something. Just something, man. We're out on the waters. We are. We are fishing for the fishies. Yes, we are. But there are no fishies. Come to me, fishy, oh fishy. see this and he's gonna go mmm that looks tasty I may take a chomp of that or not and it's back out again even the birds are laughing at me I'll have the last laugh, birdies. I will have the last laugh, birdies. We'll be catching the fishies. All in good time. Just past the dead bee. Wow. Oh, monstrous school of fish behind me here. Let's hope this little bait gets them. You know what? Since we're cruising. Look at this bad boy too. Out you go. Catch me some fish, bad boy. Bit of dates. Fell off then. <laughs> a little bit interesting. This guy's fishing without even a rod. Just with a string. Tell me he's got something. You got a fish? Without even a rod. Unbelievable. Yeah, nothing, bro. Pretty cold in there. I don't know. Yeah. I say sorry on this thing. Yeah. I was out in seven. This bloke just pulled up a fish with a, with a string. How much is that set up worth? As it is? Yeah. 5k? 5k. Can you get a small tip there? Yeah. I've been a lot of small tinny. Alright. <laughs>